mixed it up really quick while I wait for all of you guys to join. I'm always like, I always try to figure this out prior to the live feed, but let me tell you, it's as if I move it right before I start and then I'm like in the wrong place. See, now you guys can see this. How does this happen? I swear I had it all figured out and then it doesn't work anymore. Let's see. Does that work? I think that will work for everybody. Wee. Okay. Let's get this party started. Hopefully my phone is not going to fall at this time. Okay. If you're just joining, go ahead and say hello so I can give you guys a shout out. As always, on every Saturday night at 9.30 p.m., I do a live feed. I celebrate um, subscriber count, chat with you guys, answer questions, give away some knives, talk to you a little bit about my week, whatever has been going on, and yeah, have a little fun. Okay. Hey, John. Hi. Holy schmoly. Hi, King Zach. How are you doing? Hello, everybody. Say hi to Zach, my moderator today and my very bestie. OG Bulib, how are you doing? Bar one putt, MC Allen, 1181. Game over, how are you doing? How are you doing today? Jesse Isabel, hello from Colorado. Hey Colorado, how are you guys doing? Is it hot there? Is it cold there? Who knows at this point where all the weather is in every place. It seems like it's a little crazy. Hi, JJ's here, my dad. Hi everybody, say hi to my dad. Paul Myers, how are you doing? And Sheldon, hey, how are you doing? Sheldon won one of my later giveaways, so that was pretty cool. Good Saturday evening to you. Hey, Knives Out EDC, Chucky, how are you doing? Chucky is one of my members here on YouTube. Um, he's one of the LFD advocates, that's why the cool knife next to him. Thank you, Chucky. Eric, how are you doing? He's saying it's hot in Virginia. Barry, how are you doing? Uh, John, he actually won the Revo Berserker. Very cool. I'm glad. Um, John Wesker, hey, how are you? Another member of the LFD Advocates. Twisted Funny and Richard Stahl, how are you doing? Love your gun show video. Thank you, you guys, if you haven't seen that one yet. The reason why I haven't been doing um, live giveaways the last couple of Saturdays is for a couple of things. First, I went on a trip. It was a road trip. We drove about nine hours to get to um, the Destin area in Florida, which is about nine or nine hours away from me for training, shooting training. There we drove back to Marco Island. That's me and my son and Jack and my dad. And holy crap, it was a long trip. So that weekend I couldn't do a live. And then the weekend I came back, um, I caught a bug. So I was a little sick, so I couldn't do it. Um, and I think I went out that night or something. But I'm here today. So sorry for the two Saturdays that I wasn't here, but I'm ready to catch up on everything. I have three giveaways today, celebrating 68.9 thousand subscribers. Um, I was hoping it hit 99, but I don't think 69, but I don't think it happened quite yet. But growing quickly, you guys, there's a video out there that hit 53 million views. So the growth is nuts. And I'm very blessed and happy that that is happening because, you know, although most of my content is not really short videos, the short videos help me reach more people. So I'm very thankful for that. So if, you have, if you're new to the channel, welcome. All right. Uh, so you guys, giveaway starts in about 11 minutes. And at this point, you can ask me questions if you like. Um, I will read your comments as I go. I also have, maybe I'll start with this. So these knives, another YouTube channel, if you guys want to check it out, please do so. Um, he has sent me this three weeks ago and I've been saving it to open it with you guys because it does say that I could open it on camera. So I'm kind of happy um, that I got this and that I get to do it live on camera because honestly, I get a lot of packages and I always open it and I never get to kind of share the experience with you guys. So I'm gonna do this. Um, the only thing that I did open was a little car, a Hot Wheels car that they sent for my son, Jack. So I already gave it to him. Uh, John Wick is here. Notification gang, exactly. Um, let's see, I'm gonna 
answer some questions and then open this really quick. Hey, I recognize you. I didn't know you did lives. That's cool. Well, thank you. You guys, speaking about recognizing, today was the first time that I went to a store here in Marco Island and someone actually recognized me from YouTube. <laughs> it was kind of funny. I thought that they were recognizing my son from school. That's how oblivious I am to this thing. But yeah, the guy was like, I, hey, I know you. And I'm like, you know my son from school? Like, are you a teacher? He's like, no, I know you. You're a little bit dumb. I'm like, oh my God, what the hell? But yeah, I gave him a sticker just because. Good sport. Um, anyway, Moose Duty, he's saying, love the content LFD on your way to 70K. Keep up the good work. Playing poker at the moment. Well, good luck to you. Mateo, how are you doing? Hi, doctor. Can't wait to see new fishing. You all are all awesome. Yeah, you know, I've been fishing. I just have only done the one video, but my gosh, you guys, the luck fishing downstairs, literally downstairs, there's the bay and there's a bunch of docks. So my dad and Jack and I went fishing the other day on the docks. I did a post on Instagram if you want, guys want to see it, but literally in 20 minutes, we caught four catfish. Really, really incredible. And it's always like that over there. And honestly, we're just fishing with squid bits. They're not huge or anything, but um, in case you want to do that, you know, do it um, because it's fun. <laughs> you guys are funny. Um, and I have to say, so I went to Blade Show, right? You guys, within like 10 minutes, people were asking to take pictures with me. I never felt so... Um, thankful honestly people were you know were like hey I love your videos hey you know I always watch your channel and I love your Instagram literally I took pictures with a lot of people a lot of people already knew me like knife companies already knew me and you know I'm there to introduce myself and kind of make connections and honestly um the coolest experience um I, I was treated so well you know the knife community is just so amazing so I got to meet a lot of knife makers and take pictures with them and um uh, I actually met a lot of YouTube reviewers as well. Great people. So really, really cool, you guys, honestly. Um, it was it was great. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Did you get to see any Emerson knives at Blade Show? You know, Blade Ogre, let me tell you, I was running around like a maniac. I only got one day at Blade Show. I got there at a, around like 10.30 or 11.00. And I left at around six and then I stopped by at the after party. It's called The Pit. And if you guys have seen it, you know, uh, that's kind of where everybody goes after the Blade Show to hang out and whatever. But I only had that one day. So I had to record a couple of videos that, you know, I had commitments and um, I had to visit some booths that I had commitments. And I don't think I've seen the entire um, expo. I probably saw like the main two areas but I know that there was like another floor that I didn't even get to touch so I'm looking forward to maybe going to Blade Show West or maybe next year um you know hanging out so anyway but I got a ton of stuff so I'm, I'm gonna see I'm gonna see if I can actually show it to you guys in between giveaways and um or if not other you know after the giveaways for sure um let's see here Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to read your question here, guys. How much did you want to buy just every blade there? You guys, it was really cool. Um, I wanted to buy everything. There were a couple places like Microtech, I wanted to buy everything. Spiderco, I wanted to buy everything. Bastina, I wanted to buy everything. But you know what? It's funny because all these are companies that I work with. Um, and yeah, I did leave. So I left with... A few cold steel knives. I left with three scallywag knives. What else did I leave with? A CRKT. I'm trying to think if there was something else. I don't know, but I did leave with some knives, that's for sure. Hey, James Morris, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Okay, let me open uh, this from these knives and then I'll start with a giveaway. So these knives sent me a hank from it looks like GEDC. That's very cute with polka dots in gray. And he sent a, it looks that's a CJ, CJRB. 
but let's read the letter because it does say that I can open it in camera. Nothing weird, I promise, he says, these knives. Okay, let's start with, looks like some stickers here. Sam, how are you doing? Good to see you. I was waiting for you to join. Doc's rainy day found, you guys. We've been getting some rain, let me tell you. Sam, you're the best. Thank you so much. It's always nice to see you. He's always contributing. You guys say hi to Zam. Um, you rock, Zam. Okay, so Kevin Clifton just um, mentioned something very funny. So last giveaway, three weeks ago, it was like my 55K subscriber giveaway. I gave away four knives. One of the winners' name was Gerth Brooks no joke we were all laughing for about 10 minutes it was the most hilarious thing oh my god and of course you know as as you know people win i have to figure out who won zach my moderator is like girth brooks and i have to you know say it out loud like an idiot you know it's it was hilarious there it is john john is girth brooks so he made he made the the live feed hilarious Hey, everybody say hi to Mary. Hey, Mary. Mary's one of my best friends. Good to see you, Mary. Okay, so here we go. So uh, these knives sent me. Three Reavers, MFG, Kilp, Kilp, and this one's good. Keep Calm and Carry Knives. I love that one. And then we have GPK, GP Knives, Tools and Gear. And then he also sent me a letter. I'm going to... Read it. Hello, Dr. Carlisle FD. My name, my name is Danny. I love that name. I have a knife channel called These Knives. It's pretty recent, and I pretty recent came across your channel, and I was pleasantly amused. I stopped and enjoy watching your videos, especially coming from a woman's EDC mindset and style. So, from my little corner in our great knife community, I sent you a little something. I hope you like it. I noticed you have a lot of big scary blades. I figure this might suit some of your knife needs. I also included a little something for your special little one from my kids to yours. I hope you both enjoy them endlessly. Keep up the awesome and delightful content as um, I catch as much of it as possible. All the best in these knives. You guys give him a follow. That's amazing. So if you are not subscribed to these knives, please do. That's so sweet of him. Okay, let's check out this um, knife he sent me. It's kind of funny, but I will figure it out. Super nice guy. Oh, there's some popcorn in here. Okay. Oh my God, that's the freaking cutest thing, you guys. That's why he mentioned I have like really big blades. So he went with the small one. And that's awesome because I truly don't have many little blades. Look at this one. Hi, how sweet is that? Oh, check it out. And it's red. I don't have red knives. These knives. Thank you so much for that. That's really, really something. That's so sweet. Look how tiny. I love it. Oh, and it has a thumb opener. Ooh, fancy. Very cool. Front. It's a front flipper, you guys. It's nice. I actually don't have front flippers, so this is pretty neat. Very cool. I'm going to review it because I really like it. Okay, everybody. If you're not sub to these knives, sub to him. Who's that? Cool username for the win. <laughs> have you seen the movie Knives Out? Good movie. And hi, Mary. Yes, I have seen the movie Knives Out. It is pretty funny. And I have to watch it because it said Knives Out. It's kind of a murder mystery. It's kind of like a Clue. If you guys have have played the, the game Clue, it's kind of like that. Okay, so thank you, Mateo. Thank you, Sam I Am. And thank you, cool username for the win. Let's get this giveaway started because we're one minute away. Hello, fellow veteran, Havoc Zero, Havoc One Zero. Um, all right, let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way so that you guys know what's included in this giveaway. Okay, giveaway number one, everybody. Actually, let me, let me get organized here, okay? I need a Sharpie or a thing. Sam! What's Doc doing for 4th of July? Sparklers for Jackson? Well, you guys, let me tell you what I'm doing. This is actually not top secret, but actually I haven't shared this news with anyone. I'm actually going to North Carolina to visit the Microtech facility. So I will be touring Microtech Knives. 
the day after the 4th of July. So that is my plan. I'm incredibly excited. Stay tuned for videos. I, well, I, I cannot wait. Um, yes, so that's what I'm doing. Isn't that amazing? I mean, seriously, if I'm telling you something, Blade Show has been amazing for me and um, I'm really excited for what's coming. Thanks, Sam, for the question. All right, here we go. Thank you, Sam, again, you're amazing. And Sparklers for Jackson, of course, I'm actually bringing him with me. You guys, you know this, you know, I take care of Jack full time, pretty much, with the exception of when he's at school. So he's coming with, and that's okay. Okay, how am I doing this? One moment. Can you guys even read that? Probably not. But you know what? I have boxes upon boxes of knives. So how about this? <laughs> and let's give Colstead a little propaganda. All right, everybody, are you ready? Here are the rules. I'm going to show you guys what's up for the first giveaway. There's going to be three giveaways tonight. I will write a number down and then you guys are going to guess that number. One guess only. If you guess more than once, we'll kick you out of the giveaway. And uh, the first person that gets that number right wins the giveaway. Sometimes you have we have two people guessing the same number. The first one who guesses it wins it. If nobody guesses the actual number, then the person that guesses it the closest will win. Um, oh dang, did I just buy a message? I didn't know that was a thing, lol. Cool username for the win. <laughs> you did it twice. <laughs> I hope that's what you meant to do. Um, I'm sorry if you didn't. Okay, let's do this. Uh, okay, let me let me show you guys what I got for you guys. First giveaway, they get better as we continue to go. So here we go. I'm not giving away this knife. I'm giving away this stuff. Maybe that's bad. We shouldn't do that. Here, let's replace the knife for another knife that doesn't have. Okay. All right. Giveaway numero uno. As always, I am heavy on the stickers uh, just because I like to support people that send them to me. So here we go. All right, Boston Blade stickers. They have worked with me since I started. So always showing them support. There's three of them. Then we have Browse Blades. You guys, Browse sent me a knife. I always tell this story. My very first knife was of Browse Blades that I promptly lost. So when Browse Blade sent me a knife, I was over the moon. I have to review it. It's a folding karambit. Can't wait. But they also sent a bunch of stickers. So the winner of this one gets one. Then, as I told you guys, I went to Element Training Complex in Holt, Florida for some kick-ass training. I have posted it already on my YouTube. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Stickers from them. Then we got 1UP Nutrition. They are the um, supplement company that sponsor me in my fitness endeavors. Because uh, believe it or not, I am little fit devil. <laughs> anyway, amazing company. Um, uh, anyway, sticker. Then we have Strapped Couture. Um, I actually got a gift from them. They sent me a shit ton of stickers, so you guys get one as well. We have TPK, this is uh, my friend Ali. She runs a an Instagram account and she does uh, patina on knives. Those are her boobies. And then we have an LFD sticker, which is my name, uh, shortened. And then the Little Fit Devil sticker and this sticker, which is my latest one. Honestly, you guys, I am running out. Like I literally have like two left. So this is probably one of the, this giveaway today is probably one of the last ones that I'm getting. Okay, stickers out of the way. All of those are included in this giveaway. And then I got this knife from Jealous. Um, and let me tell you, this is one of those knives that people don't know about, honestly. That, you know, if you don't know much about knives, you find them on Amazon. And you get it. So I actually wanted it, to, you know, they reached out and they said, I'm gonna send you a knife. I was curious because I'm curious to see what's out there that we don't know about. So this one is actually a spring assisted knife. It has, um, I never heard of it, it's all black. And the the steel on this is a 8CR13 
it's worth 60 bucks on Amazon. It has a nice clip. It has a window breaker. It has a sharpener right there, you know, like paper cutter. Um, also a bottle opener, kind of like one of those multi-purpose knives that people like these days. So I included in the giveaway. I promised them that I would give them a shout out. They, they have knives in different colors. So first giveaway, this knife from Jealous. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. It's a jealous. All right. Let's go over the rules. To win this, you get to, to, to win this, you get to do the following. You need to give me one number from a range that I will give you very promptly. Let me write the number down so I don't forget. This is going to be the winner number. This is when you should be doing telepathy or whatever you can do. Okay. Okay, here's the winning number. The range is 200 through 300. As soon as I write start in here, you guys can start guessing. If you guess outside of the start, it doesn't count. One guess only. Don't let us boot you out of the giveaway. First person who guesses the right number wins. The person that gets the closest, if there's not an exact match, wins. All right, let's do this. And go. I'll give you guys a few minutes. One number only between 200 and 300. You got this. You got this. You will win a bunch of cool stickers and this very interesting folding knife from Jealous worth 60 bucks. And I mean, the coolest item here is my stick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I see a bunch of numbers coming through. Great work, everybody. One number, one number only between 200 and 300. Between 200 and 300, you guys, cool username for the win. That's in the wrong range. You don't need to send a highlighted thing for this. You can just type it on the comments. Thank you, though. <laughs> One guess only. And then my moderator and I, were going to look through the numbers and see who wins. I'm gonna give you guys two, one more minute. One more minute. I need one number between 200 and 300. One guess only. Person who hits the number right on the spot wins. Otherwise, person who's closest. I don't even know what I wrote here, so I'm gonna take a peek, because then I, I can check it out. Reynaldo, you're in the wrong range. Wrong range. Let's see. I'm trying to see if I see any winners. I feel like I always pick like hard numbers, so I, that's even a thing. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. When I put finish, the giveaway ends, okay? So here we go. Are we ready? Are we ready? All right. And we are done. Okay, so the winning number of this first giveaway was... Two hundred and fifty-three. Let's see who won. <laughs> cool username for the win. Listen, you can actually enter the number on the comment without having to give me a highlighted message. I appreciate it. But still, seriously, you this one this giveaway is done. But then for the next giveaway, make sure you just get the actual number range and put it on the comment for everybody. Okay, did Mary really win? So the, the number was 253. It looks like the closest one is Mary at 252. Let's all double check. Let's do a little checky checky. Um, yeah, and it is, uh, again, I don't know if I said this, but it's the, the number that's closest that's below the number. So if that makes sense. I don't know if there's a 254, but still. Okay, looks like Mary won. Did Mary win? Mary, congratulations! Woo! Okay, that one's easy. Mary, 
DM me, send me, send me an email, whatever you like, send me a letter, Mary. Okay guys, let's keep going. Give away numero dos. Okay, give away numero dos, let's do this. Maybe I'll reuse this. Let me just write down my giveaway situation here. I wish I had a Sharpie because this is not very legible right now. But we got this. I feel like we can make this work. Oh, hey, Danny, how are you? So handsome. Let's see the next. <laughs> All right. Okay. Mary, great job. Okay, you guys, let's do this. Giveaway number two. Shall I repeat the rules just in case because it seems like some people didn't catch up. Okay, the rules are, I'm gonna pick a number, same range, and you're gonna have to guess it just one time. One time, one only guess. If you hit their number right on it, right on the spot, that exact number, you win. You have to be the first one to guess it. If there's two guesses, the first person who guessed it wins the giveaway. The giveaway. If there's no actual guess of the actual number, the person closest to the number wins. Counting down. First person who enters it, I guess. Okay. Are we ready? Yes, let's do this. Okay, giveaway number two. Let's start with the multiple stickers that I always love to give away. Bostil Blade stickers. Browse Blades. Element Training Complex. Gold Steel. I actually got these stickers at the Blade Show. So this is kind of like a Blade Show exclusive. Um, Strapped Couture, as I mentioned. Allegiant Holsters. I work with them very closely. TPK. Double Ds for you. Miami Stickers. Hey Zach, feel free to kick people out. I mean, don't you know? Don't don't feel bad about it. Um, LFD, Little Fit Devil, and me. Beep 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 beep. Hello everybody. All right. And then for the knife, Nebu, thank you so much. Everybody say hello to Nebu Cloud. He actually made a sweet trailer for my channel, which I have not had a chance to even add it to my videos because life is insane. But thank you, Nebu. I will add it to my next video. Freaking promise. You guys, remind me. The trailer is sweet. I hope you like it. He He's really talented, so. Okay, so we have a Revo knife. So Revo has sent me a couple of knives. I gave one away, I believe, last week. Um... So we're going to give away another one this time. And if I'm not mistaken, this one, sorry, I'm reading here. Which one did we get? How come? I don't know it. Oh, Ness. It's a Ness. We're getting a Ness from... Rebo, it's a dark earth stone wash handle color dark earth. I actually took a picture with this on Instagram and I was dressed as Captain Marvel and then people started saying, oh, stolen valor. I mean, come on you guys, I've been in the military, do I need to show you my freaking things? Let's not be ridiculous. Okay, Rebo, here we go, Rebo Ness. Okay, are you guys ready? Okay, someone's asking for me to say hello in Spanish. So here it goes. Hola Chile, les mando un beso a Antofagasta. Espero que estén bien. Okay, okay here we go. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get in the box. <laughs> All right, ready? Let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna write the number down. Otherwise, I get distracted and, you know, nothing happens. 
this is when you guys read my mind. Okay, here it is. I'm kidding. All right, the number range, again, 200 through 300. One guess only, do not guess more than one, once. As soon as I hit start, you can start guessing. Ready, set, and go. Read my mind. One guess only, one number from 200 to 300. You got this, people. Which number could I have guessed? The range is just 100 numbers, I mean. You have a really good chance here, really good chance of winning something cool. And I do these every week. Oh, by the way, next week, while you guys are guessing, I'm going to be giving away my Little Fit Devil knife. It actually is a knife called Little Fit Devil that Black Flag Chili designed for me. So next week, stay tuned for the next giveaway because I'm going to give away one of these that everybody seemed to like. So hi, Gobshy, nice to see you. All right, you guys, one more minute, and I'll call it good. One guess only, one number from 200 to 300. And if you hit it, you win it. You win a Revo knife, a Revo Ness, and a bunch of cool stickers. Seriously, I'm still struggling to put it in the box. Got it. Got it. All right. No worries, Gobshite, it's really good to see you. Gobshite is another member of the LFD Advocates, so it's nice to see him. <laughs> Mary wants the LFD knife. Yeah, it's a good one. I mean, um, I'm, I'm really happy they did that. JC Lo is asking, nice earrings and necklace. Where did you get them? You guys, this is, believe it or not, one of my fanciest necklaces. I got them, I got this as a gift for Christmas. Believe it or not, this is Swarovski crystals hip new modern kind of like jewelry so it actually has little Swarovskis inside it so it looks like it's a hipster necklace but believe me it's one of my nicest pieces i mean fun fact right there the earrings are like two dollar earrings from claire's so i have no idea but they kind of work together all right you guys finish sorry i started talking and we're done okay so the winning number is Chan 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 chan. Two hundred and two. Who won? Ooh. Oh shit. This is what I get for being silly. Gobshite, thank you so much for the contribution. Loved my stickers. Thank you. Oh good. I'm so glad you got them. Okay, let's see. Joe Armenta was the first one to guess 202. Good job, Joe. Very good. Joe, send me an, send me an email. I'm going to put my email address here. Littlefitdevil at outlook.com. Send me an email with your address. Don't just send me an email saying I won the giveaway. Just please send me your address. Okay. Good work, Joe. Let's keep going. Actually, I'm going to write your name, Joe, because then, believe me, I have to scroll through a million emails just to find who won. Okay. Next up. Okay. Oops. Are you guys ready for this jelly? And who was that? The, uh, okay. Gobshite, thank you for the contribution. You rock. I appreciate you being a member of the LFD Advocates and always being here. So thank you so, so much. Okay, giveaway number three. Okay, here we go. Let me write it down, you guys, so that if someone just joins the giveaways, they know what we're up to. Okay. Okay, 
Kvox Zero. You're funny. Yeah, so here's the funny thing. Some people, you know, end up having, you know, they end up in this live feed and they don't even know what the heck I do. I mean, it's just simple, you know, you can just go and look through my videos. You guys, this is mainly a knife review channel. About 80% of my videos are knife reviews. Now I started doing some vlogging, but it's mainly outdoor activities, knife related for the most part, like fishing, going to gun show, knife shows, touring, you know, knife companies and so on. Um, and I do some creative concealed carry idea videos. The shorts that I do are always knife related or gun related. So I think it's pretty straightforward. And there, it, it isn't that like just suddenly I started doing like fitness or like, you know, kids videos and now we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> um, shoelace reviews, right, exactly. <laughs> Danny. <laughs> I'm trying to get her into watch reviews. I know, I know. It's like the way to go. But listen, if I keep on watching Nick, Nick Chavas, you guys probably know him. Um, he always says the worst thing that he can do, he could have done really is get into watches. It's like the most expensive thing for him. And um, yeah, so I, I always laugh when he says that. Okay. I think I answered the question of the person who was wondering. <laughs> okay, it is hilarious. <laughs> so you have a knife kink. Great that you can turn this into a business. <laughs> hey, you're not wrong. You know, I'm just going to hand it to you. You're not wrong. Okay, how many knives in my collection, you guys? I don't even know. I mean, at some point, I, I think I stopped counting at 60. Then I gave away a bunch. Um, I would like to say I'm still at 60, but I, I probably more. Um, anyway, next giveaway. Let's get going. You guys, if somebody else gets the 202, I get it, but it's the first person that guesses the number. So the rules are, let's go again through the rules. You get one guess of a number range and the first person who guesses the number wins the knife. If there is not an exact guess, the person closest to the winning number wins the knife. Very good. Okay, here we go. Who's counting? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, all of you knife lovers and knife reviewers, I really doubt that you guys are counting. We don't want to count. We don't want to know. We really don't. Bostil blade stickers, as always. Oh, crap. Allegiant holster stickers. I dropped the booties, you guys. I dropped TPK's booties. TPK's booties. Uh, strapped couture. Fudge. You guys, I keep on dropping things. Um, cold steel. I also got this one at Blade Show. Psycho. Okay. Element Training Complex. Browse Blades. And as usual, LFD sticker stands for Little Fit Devil. For those of you new here, little for devil, and me again. All right, those are the stickers. And then I'm actually giving away one of the knives that I picked up at Blade Show. I believe this is actually sold out. It's a Scallywag, and I kind of liked the action on this. It 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 seems to me like a good um, flipper that has some like good play to it. You know, for those of you guys that have knives just to play with them. I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I use them, but I also play with them. Um, it's a Scallywag. And it's a flipper and it has D2 steel in red, deep pocket carry clip. It's thin. I like the design. I do like the black hardware against the red. I think it looks really nice. The flipper action, super smooth. So smooth. I really like the shape of the, of the blade too. I was able to talk to Scallywag for a long time at Blade Show. And I left with so many of these, their things that you have no idea. But I will um, show you guys, I'm planning on doing a review of their Guardian Dagger, which I actually posted a picture on Instagram if you haven't seen it. Um, and there's a couple of self-defense knives that they're brand new, developed by one of the people that they actually worked with that are instructors in the tactical world. So very, very cool. And yeah, you guys, um, someone just asked about the stickers. So the stickers, these, when these are done, 
I'm actually printing a new version of this. So meaning a new picture, a new drawing, a new something of my name. So these are kind of like limited editions. So when you see these and I say, who wants them? Let me know. Uh, let's see. I get Teespring? No, it's not Teespring. So my stickers don't come from Teespring. I have a Teespring store, but it's just for like shirts and swag. Like you can get shirts and pillows and mugs and things like that. The stickers are separate. I actually send the stickers. So if you guys need a sticker, you have to email me or DM me on Instagram or be a member of the LFD Advocates. Anyway, or support me on Patreon. That's how you get the stickers. Um, okay, before I start this, I'm answering some questions here. Where can I buy the LFD knife you showed a few minutes ago? Okay, guys, it's Black Flag Chile. It's a Chilean company that made that for me. They ship in the US, so that's where you get it. Um, it actually has, sorry, I'm just gonna like talk about it really quick. It has D2 steel tactical knife, again, made in Chile, but the D2 is American steel with my actual Little Fit Devil logo, the same that you see on my stickers. Black Flag Chile's logo right there. It does come with this sheath. I think it comes with paracord as well. The sheath has a belt loop and it's leather and it's hand stitched. So pretty neat. I believe it is 120 or 150. Check it out at Black Flag Chile. Okay, now let's do this. Okay. Recap, because I kind of got sidetracked. Scallywag, folder, knife, and a bunch of stickers. Are you guys ready? Last giveaway of the night. After I'm done with this giveaway, if you guys want to chat with me for a little while, stick around, I'll answer questions, talk about whatever you guys want. Let's do this. Okay. Okay, here we go. So, recap on the rules. One guess only, the range. <laughs> I actually need to write the number. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of, of the game here. Okay, the range is again, 200 to 300. One guess only, when I hit start, you can start guessing. Winner who gets the number right, wins the Scallywag folder and the stickers. Are you ready? Let's go. This is a good one, you guys. I kind of, I don't know why I'm giving it away. <laughs> it is really good. But you know, guys, I, I always say the knife community has been so nice to me that I have given away nice knives for my collection. I have given away knives that I went and bought specifically for giveaways. And I have given knives that are new, like this one that, you know, was on, honestly a, a knife I really liked. But again, this is me being nice to you guys because I know it always comes back so whoever wins it always I mean I have played with it I'm sorry sorry that I'm playing with it I will stop but I really like it <laughs> okay one guess only one guess from 200 to 300 let's see who hits it right on it on the spot I'm gonna kind of look and see if some people hit it somebody again first person who guesses the right number wins it i don't want to hear oh but this person won too well there's only one winner only one winner where did you miss up ira what happened don't worry we forgive you ira ira's an lfd advocate He's awesome. He's always here. So, and Nebu Cloud, thank you for reminding people to hit that like button. I know that it's uh, difficult to see the like when you are in a giveaway and on a live feed. So, if you guys have a chance, please go ahead and do so. Thank you. Thank you. All right. 30 seconds. Oh, well, Ira, if you did the wrong range, go ahead and participate. I didn't put finish. One number from 200 to 300. Go ahead. You have 10 seconds. Bruna Miranda, thank you so much for the five bucks and the little jumping controller. I love it. Oh, that's so cute. 
All right, we're done and that's it. Okay, thank you, Bruno Miranda. It's really nice of you to contribute to the live chat. And the winner is number 288. Who won? I shouldn't do that because then I have to write the name and then I freak out. Okay, Zach is actually looking for the number, I'm sure. Um, I don't even know why, I'm, why I scroll, you guys. I always mess it up anyway, so I'm just going to leave it to Zach, you know, to figure it out for me. I appreciate you so much, Zach. You're the best. I actually see a few guesses of the same number. Who said it first? Nice Saudi DC! Whoop! Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, that's so funny. Don't get mad if you if you missed it by one. You know, it's fine. Knives out EDC, congratulations. Knives out. Please send me an email or DM me at littlefitdevil at Outlook or on Instagram DM me. That's cool. Congrats. This is a neat one. Okay, guys. If you were here for the giveaway, I will tell you good night. Now, for those of you who want to chat, hang out, have a drink, talk to me for a few more minutes, I will stick around just for a few more minutes. Um, I will show you guys a few things if you want, um, kind of things that I got in the last few weeks, and we can talk. But yeah, let me let me show you a couple of things that are pretty cool. And if you guys have questions, please let me know. Danny, how do I get one of those pens? <laughs> this is probably the best pen out there. I'll give you one. These are like, don't they bring you back to like your high school days or like middle school? I don't even know when I had these pens, but man, I like them more now than when I was a kid. Okay, uh, Blade Ogre is asking, why are you drinking? I'm drinking a bubbly. It's a uh, seltzer, uh, sparkling water. Uh, I believe it's Coca-Cola brand. This one's a blueberry. No, blackberry. What is your favorite color? Blue. Did you ever stab somebody? No. Myself. I have stabbed myself, but by accident. Hey, Lifty, have you heard Cold Steel has new owners? You mean GSM Outdoors? Absolutely, I heard that. Those pens are old school. Yes. I live in Arizona and my AC went out Tuesday. It was 118 yesterday. I'm sorry, Granium. That really blows um ira hey thank you so much oh wait that's a cool little emoji right there look at that i kind of wish i can do it i don't have the sunglasses i can i mean i can go with these but i mean i will not look cool i can kind of look i will look like a huge nerd thank you ira i appreciate you okay that Espada excel was a great review i've been looking at that navaja for a while you guys the Espada Excel. Is it here? Is it here with me? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You guys, I have reviewed this one today. I have posted a video on YouTube. It was amazing. <laughs> Zach is cooking. So he's saying behave. Okay, behave because he can't pay much attention. So don't be dicks about it. Um, I will yell at you, Zach, if someone gets wild. Um, let's see. Do they shoot the fireworks over the island for the 4th of July? They didn't do it last year because of the virus. Hopefully they will this year because I would really like to see it um, at the beach. Gobshite is buying the LFD knife tonight and I swear to God, if I win it next Saturday too, I'm gonna go out and fight crime. <laughs> All right, yeah, you guys, next week, if you missed that, I'm giving away the LFD knife, the Little of a Devil knife from Black Flag Chile. So if you're still around, Tune in next Saturday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern time and for a chance to win. Okay. Um, anyway, Espada XL, yes. So this one I actually didn't get at Blade Show, but I was waiting for it while I was at Blade Show. Massive knife. I have reviewed it today. It was a really fun review, to be honest with you. If I have to say it's one of my best ones, just because... Um, the reason why, you know, most knife reviewers out there, not that there's anything wrong with it, uh, show the knife close up, which I think there's, you know, a, a huge um, 
advantage of doing that just because you get to see the knife really well. The way I do my reviews is I show this nerd face and I talk about it. And when I talked about the Espada today, you know, you see the excitement and kind of the real raw reaction on this knife, on having this knife and being able to really like talk about it and being so lucky to work with Cold Steel and being able to do this. So if you haven't seen my review, please do so. It is an amazing knife. Um, I did a funny video on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, at LittleFitDevil, check out my reels. It's actually pretty hilarious. It's me trying to conceal these this thing and it's pretty pretty crazy you guys i'm gonna open it so you guys can see it in case you haven't yet so this is the espada by cold steel knives and this one if you guys don't know there's there's two versions of this espada one is a full g10 handle this one is a polished g10 with the aluminum bolster and frame um it has that kind of like mirror look to it it's way more expensive too that's why if people want to um, EDC this kind of knife, they will probably go with the full G10 because this will get scuffed. So for me, this is kind of like a collection piece. Uh, that's what I said in my review. Um, again, designed as a tactical knife. Cold Steel has some balls when they design things. This one is epic. I've been wanting this one for a while. So there you go. If you do, guys, I actually, I don't want to forget this. If you guys do like Cold Steel knives, I do have a code. It's Little Fit Devil. And it saves you 30% off. I just started working with Cold Steel. So 30% off, it's kind of a huge deal. Of course, I benefit from it. I'm not going to lie. But 30% off, you benefit as well. So if you want to use it, please go ahead and do so. Um, so yeah, it's funny. It seems like some people have not seen this knife before because I'm getting some reactions. But anyway, please go ahead and check out my latest review. I posted it today so you can see more on this amazingness piece of goodness out there all right that's the espada excel amazing hard to top that off to be honest with you yeah 30 percent off it's amazing right Nebu? i i agree with you when i when i heard the discount i was able to provide to my subscribers i was kind of like over the top okay then i got this knife i have reviewed a couple of knives from this company dagger they are a russian company and i like what they do i really do um I reviewed a parrot folding knife, not as gigantic as the Spada, but it is a pretty large knife, pretty neat. Um, what? It's funny, you guys. If someone says badass, it's held for review. Really? That's so crazy. Um, anyway, I don't know what's going on with that. But um, let's see. Martine Hand is asking, LFD, do you think Cold Steel is going to get cheap with new owners? You know, I don't think so. I don't think the plan is to change any of the designs. I think they are still working closely with Lynn Thompson. You guys know, like, kind of like the, the the brains behind the designs of Cold Steel. And I think there was a, a, an idea of panic buying because we didn't know what was going to happen. But as long as they maintain their inventory and they continue their production the way it has been, all good. Now, the problem is that they're running out of inventory. I don't know what's going to happen after that. I don't have a crystal ball. But honestly, my guess is that it's probably going to remain about the same. I don't think anyone should be super concerned. I think it's more about, you know, the knives that maybe won't come back. Those that are going out of stock and never coming back. That's why people are panic buying, because how do you know which ones are those, right? Um, but Cold Steel, I went to Blade Show. They're coming up with some great new designs. So, you know, stay tuned for that, I guess. Okay, Dagger. This one's really nice. It's a G10 in Jade. I actually like that a lot. And what I like about Dagger Knives is the, the company that is, not the actual Dagger Dagger. Um, they they have some really neat designs. I kind of like the look of this knife. This is a D2 steel. They do have a hole there, kind of like the spider girl hole. However, they were very smart. They used their own branding in creating that hole. And I actually find it kind of useful, you know, um, to actually open it as a thumb stud. I think that's pretty good. And then they actually have their clip with the dagger um, logo design, which is really neat. You know, Chavez does something similar with their knives and people are like, well, but oh my God, it looks like a skull. That's too much to carry. I dig it. You know, I like skulls, but not, I understand if not many people love them. Okay, what else? 
uh too sweet 2021 have a good night thanks for being here yeah the code for uh cold steel knives is little fit devil one word and you need to buy it from cold steel if you want to use my code what else i got the large loose on but i think you guys have seen this before um i also got the click and cut which i have reviewed last week this one's pretty neat i don't know if you guys have seen it but we're chatting so i'll I'll show you guys what I got. Sheldon, oh, that's right. Sheldon, you did get um, a dagger knife, right? Yeah. Oh, you did get that. Um, which one was it? I can't remember now. It was a little one. It was great. Yeah. And Nebu, you should check out dagger. They're actually pretty good. I, I do own a few of their knives. I even have an out the front from dagger. That's pretty neat. Okay. So they, they click and cut. I saw this for the first time in Blade Show, um, and then I realized that this was actually not a special edition, but a different edition than what most people know. This one is actually the 40 AL, which is the hunting series. That's why the orange. Um, and the blade styles are also different from the kind of original. So you take it up apart like that. The sheath comes with two extra blades, and then you get to choose this is the hook you know, perfect for hunting, and you put it right in, and then you want to replace it, and then you put it back into another blade. I mean, honestly, I like the concept. This reminds me a lot of the Tough Light, but with the ability to change blades. I like it quite a bit. So, um, yeah, I picked this one up at Blade Show, but it was kind of neat. They were advertising it quite a bit. Joe, I was looking at it. You recommended the CRKT. Oh, you know, I have... Okay, let me tell you. The CRKT display on Blade Show was one of the best. And I did not get to record it like a total doofus. Really cool. Let me tell you why. They had kind of what I want in my room. A magnet wall. And all their knives were sort of like side by side. And you could just grab them, right? You grab the knife, play with it back in the magnet and it was really great because it allowed people to really play with these knives they were really really cool um i used to own a provoke i i owned the stormtrooper version it was really hard to find it was like every star wars fan dream come true in a knife and then i had it and then i didn't like it and it's not that i didn't like it because I didn't like the function or I thought it was a bad knife. Not at all. I just didn't like it for me. It was too heavy. I really wanted to carry that knife so badly because I thought it was so sweet, but it was so gigantic for me. You know, like it, it was bulky and it's not one of those knives that you can really carry in any pocket. So I ended up getting rid of it. Um, it was actually one of the few knives that I did sell you know and i sold it for more than what i purchased it because it was out of stock everywhere especially that stormtrooper edition um so now that i know there's a compact i'm gonna have to check it out and yeah i did not see that on blade show though but maybe i will next um next time okay what else I got the Voyager Extra Large. I actually, I'm going to review this one soon. Ooh, you guys. Okay, the browse blades. I have it right here. So let me show you this. Uh, let's see. Michael Murphy says, what you wrote for your degrees, are they online anywhere to read? Oh, you mean like my thesis and my doctoral dissertation? Let me think about this. You know, this is funny. So I have a Patreon account, right? And when I opened my Patreon account, I wasn't thinking. And I had a million tiers in there that was incredibly hard to manage. And one of my tiers was a $2 tier. And I did have my thesis for my master's degree and my dissertation for my PhD. And the reason why I had that is because people actually asked me for this. This is the first time I read this question in a very long time. But um, yeah, people kept on asking me because I... I believe that when I opened my Patreon, it was at the same time that I graduated from my PhD. So people were very curious to see, you know, what my dissertation was about. And um, I actually added my master's thesis as well. My bachelor's degree thesis wasn't that great. But um, I mean, I, I can give you the topic. So my bachelor's um, thesis was on stereotype threat. And it's this concept that, let's say you're a minority group let's say like myself, call me Hispanic. And 
there's a stereotype about Hispanics. Let's say that they are, when they come to the U.S., they work in the service industry. Let's say that's the stereotype. Then as a Hispanic, I come to the U.S. and I know that this stereotype exists. So then I go work in the service industry and that's my ceiling. And that is what my belief is, meaning that I ascribe to that stereotype, not because is the only thing I can do or that I'm capable of, but it's a threat. That stereotype causes a threat in me to go explore. So that's the concept, kind of like people getting into a situation of like um, stagnant growth. So I did my thesis on that. Um, it's pretty cool, I thought. Then my master's degree thesis was on work ergonomics or... Um, I'm trying to think exactly. Yeah, it was work ergonomics. Um, and it was, so my master's is in industrial organizational psychology. So ergonomics was kind of a subset of industrial organizational psychology. And um, yeah, kind of interesting, but work ergonomics and how it does affect productivity. And, you know, if people actually need it to be high performers um, and if it affects their work in some way. So that was my master's degree. And then my PhD was on working remotely, actually. It was um, the effects of productivity or enhanced productivity and motivation in employees who work remotely versus employees who go to work. Um, and by go to work, I actually made sure that I specified that it was like a, an office nine to five job kind of deal. So yeah, it was kind of neat to do that. I was able to, that was a dissertation. So that was 120 pages. I got to do the actual experiment and, um, you know, analyze it statistically through MANOVA, which is a multivariate analysis of variance. Freaking crazy. It was really cool. And I have the coolest story to tell you guys. So when I defended my dissertation, I was freaking nervous. You know, I've been working on this crap for freaking four years and I really thought I nailed it, okay? Like, I'm there, you know, like, defending my thing um, on Zoom with this, you know, with a chair that also was a chair for Yale and, like, my my actual mentor. And, oh, my God, it was nuts. Anyway, I defended this thing, and this, and when I finished, this lady was like, well, you know, we, you know, they took a break, and then they came back, and then they were like, well, we thought about it, and we think that this is going to need a little more work. That bitches were actually pranking me. Like, it literally took them two minutes to actually tell me they were BSing me. And I'm like, they're sweating, thinking like, oh my God, do I really need to do my whole freaking dissertation again? I'm going to freaking cry. And I think that one of the ladies was like, okay, it, it's enough. You did amazing, Carla. You know, thank you. And they actually invited me to do like a post back um thing that I didn't end up doing. After my PhD, I was so done, you guys. I did my three degrees in like a period of 10 years. So I was like studying back to back, bachelor's to master's to PhD it was like nonstop. So when I was done with my PhD, I told myself that I was gonna freaking calm down and not grab a book for years. And I didn't, and I didn't, and it was good for me. So anyway, that's that. Thanks for listening to the story, I guess. That was kind of a long-winded answer to a very simple question. Um, so I have been to a, I think someone asked that question. I have been to, a, have you actually been to a university? Yeah, my bachelor's was at the uni, um, Montana State University in, in Bozeman. And then my master's was online through Grand Canyon University, my PhD online through North Central University. And honestly, you guys, the reason why I went online you can think whatever you want. I I am able to work well under pressure and do all my assignments and all that. I graduated with like really high GPAs and all that, but um, I wanted to be able to work. These days, you can't just go to a job and say, I have a degree and zero work experience. Freaking no, you cannot do that. So I was able to work full time and get my PhD and my master's. And honestly, my bachelor's, I actually was working full time when I got my bachelor's degree. So Anyway, and I do have a video here that I did kind of like a intro about all this craziness. It's an 11 minute video. It says get to know me in 11 minutes. So if you guys really want to get to know me or if you're curious about any of the things I'm saying, 
watch the video. It's not that long. Um, and yeah, anyway. I see someone is actually saying that ANOVA is a pain in the butt. Well, no, I did use uh, an actual software. SPSS was what I used, so I didn't have to do it by hand. Imagine. Just imagine doing my Nova by hand. Oh my God, I couldn't even. Do you have a book learning addiction? No, but I am actually like, I, I do get high on learning. I'm not gonna, yeah, look at me. I'm a huge nerd. I mean, I do, I do like to know about everything. I mean, of course I'm an expert in what my degrees are, but I do want to make sure that I can always have like smart conversations where there's critical thinking and good knowledge. Otherwise, you know, that's why, you know, like, that's how I actually choose my friends too. I want to make sure I can have these kinds of conversations. Otherwise, it's like nothing. Uh, are you a Scorpio? What, what made you ask that question? Now, I'm a Taurus. However, I do have a moon in Scorpio. I don't know if that makes any difference or if it makes any or if you said that for any reason, but anyway, yeah, Taurus, Moon, and Scorpio, Cancer Rising, I think. <laughs> I don't remember. Do you, uh, you went to a private school in Argentina. Yes, I did. I went to a, a private school where I learned both Spanish and English at the same time. Um, Sheldon, did the Olight work for you? Yes, Sheldon, thank you so much. That was a very nice birthday gift. Sheldon sent me an Olight, my first one, and I always wanted one. So yeah, I've been using it. It was really nice. Thank you, Sheldon. Um, does this video have a sponsor? No, it doesn't. Okay. Let me show you the browse blades and let's call it a night. Okay. Freaking gorgeous knife, you guys. Um, folding karambit. Oh my god, so freaking sweet. The look at, I mean, look at the clip on this thing. And look, you actually have the possibility of replacing it by the actual browse blades logo, which I think I would want to do that. Otherwise, you have like the little logo anyway. But it wraps around your finger ring. It's neat. I like that feature so much. I really do. And then, so the Kramitz I have, they have the um, ramp opening system. So you can actually, you don't deploy them single-handedly. You actually kind of use your clothing to open them. This one is the first one I have that's a flipper Kramitz. This is sick. Freaking sick. Um, <laughs> and it's comfortable. And honestly, the thought on this is great because it it they did think about the entirety of the design look at the grooves there for self-defense so super sweet you know like you can hit from here you can impact from here you can really honestly even impact here there's like jumping over here so when you open it you can actually place your your finger right there really well thought out I'm, i mean the blade look at the blade i do love current bits thank you nebu <laughs> you know I like Kramitz because they're just so cool. I mean, this one's so comfortable too. It really is. I wish I had my bassinelli here, but I don't. But yeah, I mean, browse blades, holy crap. This is not, this is definitely not the knife I lost. My, the one I lost was just a, I honestly, I have a pretty cool folder browse, but definitely not like this. This is, yeah. Okay, I'm going to review it, you guys. Just not today, but it's here in my in my pile. <laughs> you guys, you should see this thing. It's crazy. I'm actually planning on doing, um, as you guys know, I'm part of a group called Girls With Guns, and um, we do have a YouTube channel with quite a lot of subscribers, and I'm planning on doing an exclusive video for that channel where I'm going to be reviewing my top five cold steel knives. So stay tuned for that. I'll let you guys know when it comes out, and I'll make sure to link you to it. Okay. Michael Murphy. What? Uh, if you won last time, I already sent the, um, the packages out last week. So just stay tuned for it. If you did win, I got it. I got your email and I sent it out. Sorry if I didn't respond. Honestly, the truth is I get a lot of emails and DMs. So, you know, if you won the knife... Just make sure I know that you got it. You send me the address and I sent it to you. So, 
Danish Rumpho, how old are you, guy? My tatas are perfectly covered. Let's get get out of here. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. Do you think you prefer a fixed blade crambit, a folder crambit, or an out the front crambit? You know, I do like a folder crambit. Um, I have not found a knife yet that surpasses the my number one spot, which is really the Mako by Bastinelli. That's my most favorite knife. And prior to that, it was the Blackbird by Bastinelli. So maybe I will find a knife that I will like more than that. I mean, my Microtech Ultratech, the out the front, it's really up there too. The Spada is up there too, but the design, we're not talking about price point here, you know, because of course the Spada and the Microtech are a different price point. Those are $400 knives and my Blackbird is 189, I believe. And my, the Mako, I believe, is 200. So it's slightly different price point, but I still love the idea of a Karambit. I do like the idea of a self-defense knife that can also cut, you know, the design is so neat. It's all blacked out, which is amazing to me. The weight is right. And Bastinella is one of my favorite knife designers. So for now, that's the favorite. Hopefully it will change because, you know, I would want someone, some knife that will change it. Um, so Kay Mason, the Mako, there's a Mako that's a fixed, but the one that I'm talking about is the Karambit Mako. It's Mako S and it's a Mako that's partially serrated. It's a combo blade. But yeah, um, Bastinelli did a collaboration with Microtech, I believe, and they named it Mako. I believe it's a different spelling. The one that I'm talking about is a Mako that has like the shark scales on the handle. Uh, it kind of looks kind of like the fins of a shark. Um, let's see, favorite knife at Blade Show. You know, I did like, there was, the, they had, and again, I passed through, they had this like really miniature out the front Microtech, all stainless that I thought was freaking beautiful. Um, and then Cold Steel is coming up with a new Warcraft, um, Warcraft knife. Um, they have some out, but they, they have new blade shapes, new steels. That one was pretty, pretty cool too. Um, what else did I see that I liked? So Spyderco actually had an entire section that I couldn't record because they didn't allow it. But there were prior editions of knives and some of them were like single knives. Really cool. That was probably one of my most favorite parts of the of Blade Show. That was really neat. And then I got to hold a knife that was worth $7,800 by actually a guy that supposedly has a really big YouTube channel. Fuck, if I could remember the name, I would say it, but I don't. Um, but yeah, he was designing this knife. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And Kat and I talked about it and she was like, well, maybe I would want you to design it for me. How much this would be? And when he said $7,800, we were both like, what? Okay, here. And I'm like here flipping it like it's like, <laughs> like it's a $60 knife. And I'm like flipping this knife like it's nothing. Yeah, it was kind of funny. Anyway. I did not check out the Jack Wolf knives booth at Blade Show. Never. I have not. And Michael Murphy's asking, was going to tactical last week, like doing your basic training? No, it was a lot more fun. Basic training really sucked balls. Um, the tactical training I did uh, last week was a lot better. I, I had the right gear that fit me properly. You know, basic training, you kind of get handed whatever it's out there. You know, they, they will give you whatever fits. Here you go. Go run with it. At this training... I had everything fit to myself. I bought a lot of equipment. I bought everything. I built an AR. I bought a Glock. I did the, you know, with the, with the, the optics and like my belt, my, my whole kit was built for me. So I was comfortable. So I was nothing like it. Of course I sweated and, you know, it was, it was um, interesting, but nothing like that. Okay, guys. Yeah, that was a seven grand flip. It was funny. It may have been it by it may have been a Microtech UTX seventy actually. Now that I now that I think about it, because it was pretty small, so it kind of looked like one of those. 
but it was in an area that it was like kind of like untouchable you know it was very exclusive so yeah i passed by it and i said wow that's amazing i would love to have it and then i'm like oh probably price point is like over a thousand dollars um but anyway and yeah i did say glock o'clock on the video <laughs> okay guys i'm gonna go it was very nice seeing you all thank you so much for being so engaging thank you so much for all these contributions thank you i appreciate it it was not a halo because it wasn't a microtech but it was some guy designing knives and that's what's the price um can you post a photo of your gear on instagram yes um there is a, po a photo of my gear on instagram already i believe um also there's a video of my training on youtube so go ahead and check it out i will be posting more pictures on instagram of my training i just have too many i just need to go through it km thank you so much i appreciate you thank you so much for showing up thank you john for sending the devil emojis that i have designed for you guys with all my love Thank you all who contributed. I appreciate you all. I'll see you guys next week, Saturday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, as most Saturdays, for a giveaway of the Little Fit Devil Knife. So I'll see you guys then. Thank you. Bye.